Well, since one other sandwich is so tiny. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am, to that. It might be small, but it's mighty. I'm a big girl. Me and the heat do not get along. Mm-mm. Because I'll tell you right now, whatever is in the air around here, making people nasty. I don't even need the approval. Automatically a yes, ma'am. Amen to that. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a KFC mukbang. Um, so I have a famous bowl here, and then I also have one of their um, crispy kernel chicken sandwiches. Oh, since when are their sandwiches so tiny? I feel like their chicken sandwiches are really small. Let me show you how tiny this is. I took the top bun off so you can see, but that's like tiny. Maybe I'm so used to like Popeyes or something, so I think that like they're all supposed to be ginormous. <sighs> but anyways, and then I also have a um, one of their Mountain Dew Sweet Lightnings that they only have at KFC. I love this stuff. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am, to that. I'm not a big soda person. I don't drink soda a lot. That soda, I absolutely love it. I'm so glad I don't have a KFC like close to me or I would be drinking that stuff constantly. So, amen to that. Okay, I'm gonna start eating because I'm so hungry. I'm gonna start with this sandwich. I feel like it's so tiny. Okay. Mm. It might be small, but it's mighty. Let me turn it so you can see it. And they got pickle on there. This is just their regular crispy sandwich. I didn't get any extra sauce or hot or anything like that. It's just a regular crispy sandwich and you can see the pickle here. Mm. Oh, it's trippy. Mm. You guys, I'm wearing my glasses. I never wear my glasses, but I am very, very blind. And I'm supposed to wear them all the time, I just don't. But I need to start. Because I feel like I can feel my eyesight getting progressively worse. So I seriously need to start wearing my glasses. So I'm sorry if there's any type of like reflecting or anything. I don't know how it looks right now, so I hope it's not too bad. Mm. But you guys, I just got back from a little mini vacation. It's Tuesday right now. You'll see this on a Thursday. So on Sunday, I left and I stayed in Hampton Beach, which is in New Hampshire. So I just stayed there for a couple days um, just to kind of get out of the house and do something a little different. The drive and traffic is terrible, of course. I'm the worst with driving, the worst. I get super scared of like the cars around me and I like panic. It's not good. And the, the drive is a few hours, so that's fun. <laughs> but yeah, I stayed by the beach. I tried a bunch of food, of course. I didn't film there though just because it's very I just feel like it's really hard to film anywhere because there's like a lot of music or a lot of people around so I feel like it's harder when there's a bunch of people but I had a lot of fun the weather wasn't bad at all I was scared it was gonna rain or something but it didn't it was nice it wasn't like too too hot or anything because 
Y'all know I can't take the heat. Mm -mm. I'm a big girl. Me and the heat do not get along. Mm -mm. But yeah, that was fun. And I love Maine, the state of Maine. And down, like in South Maine, you like Portland and you know, Ogunquit, Old Orchard Beach. I love that area. I would love to live there one day. Um, that's like my ideal location if I was to move anywhere. Um, but yeah, like they have beautiful stretches of road where there's like gorgeous houses and it has a gorgeous view of like the ocean. So I did that quite a bit. I love looking at the, the beautiful homes that I'll never, ever, ever set foot in, ever. <laughs> But I love them. I think they're so beautiful. And just the water and like the fresh air. <laughs> I don't know. It just feels so much better there. I was so sad to come home. And it was only two nights. I was only there for two nights. And I feel like I hardly left, you know? I just, two nights is not enough for me. Because I really wasn't even there like a full 48 hours, you know? Because, you know, you check in around 4, check out by 11. So it was less than like two old days. I don't know, you guys. But here I am. I'm back home. I did miss my cat, Pepe. I'm happy to see him, but I don't even think he cares that I was gone. He don't seem phased at all. <laughs> I was like, he must not have missed me. But yeah, I had a lot of fun. I can't wait to go again. I might go again this year, even maybe when it's like a little bit colder. I'm thinking about going up there for Halloween, just to try something different. I love Halloween, but I think maybe it would be fun to try it like somewhere else. And like their, they have like their main strip with a lot of like stores and everything. So I think maybe they might do something cute for like kids or like trick or treating or something. Maybe the little stores will hand something out. I don't know, I just think it'd be fun. Mm -mm -mm. I was actually already like looking at rates for that time frame. A lot of the hotels there aren't even open because that's just not their opening season. They're not super busy then. Everybody's coming for the summertime. Um, but there is one hotel that's open um, that's pretty reasonably priced. It was actually somewhere that I was going to stay this year but canceled because of the whole thing going on so I'll probably do that in October and I know that I wasn't in Maine but every time I'm like even kind of in the area you have to stop up you know so I went to this restaurant that I go to every year and I just love it. It's right at one of the lighthouses that I like to visit. And every every year at that lighthouse, they have a little gift shop. So I always get something like a mug or a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. I always get something every year. This year, I got a cute little mug and a sweatshirt. It was kind of nice in there because they limit like how many people can be in there. It was nice that it wasn't so, like, crowded. I didn't mind it. But, yeah, so I got that. And then I got lunch at the same place that's right across, like, the road from the gift shop. Um, and you sit right on the lake. You can. Um, but I sat right by the water. You could see, like, the waves crashing by. Um, you know, off in the distance, they had a bunch of, like, the big, gorgeous houses that you could look at from the window. It was so beautiful so beautiful and um, I always get their uh, like main blueberry lemonade so good every time <laughs> I don't know you guys I think my heart belongs there I think I belong there I've always been afraid to like move there 
There's a lot of reasons why I haven't yet. But one of the reasons is because I am the type of person, I get bored very quickly. And I was always afraid that like if I moved there, I would stop appreciating it. Um, and I didn't want to like kill the vibe that it gave me, you know. <laughs> but I feel like because I'm so used to like what I'm around now. And I mean, it's not like I live anywhere bad. Like, I'm lucky, you know, to have what I have and live where I live. But, like, I just feel like going there, I feel like when I get there, I would understand, like, to not. I would, like, remind myself to not take it for granted. I don't know. I just don't think I would ever get sick of it because I would remind myself every day, you know what I mean? Like where I am now which isn't bad I'm just not 100% happy you know what I mean and then being there is going to be totally different for me so if I feel like I were to ever kind of start like feeling ungrateful I would definitely snap snap out of it really quickly Oh, and with these bowls, these famous bowls, I always eat the mashed potatoes and the corn first, and then I leave the chicken. I used to never mix my food, ever. Like, I hated it mixed. I didn't even want them touching. <laughs> I was that kind of person. I've gotten a lot better. This is one thing I can eat where everything's touching and everything, but before mm -mm. I could never do it but I hope you guys have been doing good what have you guys been up to honestly other than that for a couple days I mean I don't really have anything going on I gotta go back to work tomorrow. I think I'm gonna finally um, be full time again. Um, Cause I've been part time since May, I think. Cause of everything going on. So I think they finally have us coming back full time starting next week. Which I'm excited but nervous for. I'm not really nervous, I guess, but I don't know. I don't know, it'll be fine. Nothing to worry about. They put so much potato in here and they have so much chicken. I feel like they always put a good amount of chicken but this one's like a lot. You see how much chicken there is? That's like all chunks of chicken. All of it. I feel like that's a lot of chicken. But I'm not complaining. I don't know you guys. I don't really know what else to talk about. I mean, I told you about my trip. I had a really good time. Everybody there is always so nice. I don't know why or how that is, but just everybody in that area. I feel like where I live now, most people are so mean. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's the ocean air making people nice. Because I tell you right now, whatever is in the air around here, Making people nasty. Mm -mm -mm. I love KFC. I don't always get their famous bowls, but I think I might start. Because they're just good every time, you know? And it's like the perfect amount of food. It's truly really good. 
the only reason I got this sandwich was to try it with you guys. Because I have had it before. Like one time, I think. But I wanted to try it with you guys. I mean, it's good. I like the pickles on it. But I just feel like it's so small. It's like a rinky-dink chicken sandwich. But, yeah. I hope you guys have been good the past couple days. I've been trying to think about what I want to need for this week for my mukbangs. If you guys have any idea, just let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear some of your guys' suggestions. What you guys want to see me eat. And if I can feasibly get it or make it, I will. Okay, you guys. It's our last bite. Mm -mm. That's the good stuff. I don't even need the approval. Automatically a yes ma'am. Okay guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. You can leave a comment down below um, with any suggestions if you guys have any. Feel free to share with your friends if you feel like it. If you're not subscribed already, please make sure to click the subscribe button along with the notification bell so you can be notified anytime I post a new upload. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!